everybody. My name is Fozan Khan and I'll be talking about Eid. So let's get started. What is Eid? There are two Eids, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. I'll be doing Eid al-Fitr first and then I'll do Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Fitr marks the ending of Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, also known as the fasting month. In Ramadan, we fast. And fasting is when we don't eat or drink from dawn to dusk. We do that for 30 days until Ramadan is over. After Ramadan is over, we celebrate by holding Eid al-Fitr. Why do we hold Eid al-Fitr? We do Eid al-Fitr because of all of our hard work we have done in Ramadan. How do we do Eid al-Fitr? How we do Eid al-Fitr is that we wake up very early get our best clothes on, and we get ready to go to the mosque. After we get to the mosque, we pray in the mosque, and we and then after we do that, we greet everyone and start playing with our friends and family. We play till our heart's content. We eat delicious food and have so much fun. After we return home, it's not the end. We go to our relatives' houses and our relatives come to ours. One of my personal favorites and needs is that the elders would give the youngsters gifts and money. So, we would get free gifts and money to enjoy. And that is all about Eid al-Fitr. We've talked about Eid al-Fitr, now let's talk about Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Adha is celebrated on the 10th day of the 10th month in the Islamic calendar named the Hijjah. It is also known as the Festival of Sacrifice. On that day, we sacrifice an animal for our God and also in remembrance of our Prophet Ibrahim as he was willing to do anything for our God. This is how the story goes. Our Prophet once had a dream. In his dream, he was commanded by our God to sacrifice his beloved son. So, he had went up to his son and had told him he had to sacrifice him. And his son had said, do whatever our God has told you to do. So, they had gone up the mountain, and right uh, right when he was about to sacrifice him, an angel sent by our God replaced our our prophet's son with a lamb. So, when he opened his eyes, thankfully, his son was okay. Turns out, it was all just a test from our God. He wanted to see our prophet's loyalty to him, and thankfully, he passed. That is why we celebrate Eid al-Adha. Now let's talk about how we celebrate Eid al-Adha. We celebrate Eid al-Adha by getting an animal to sacrifice. After we sacrifice, we give one third to family and friends, one third to poor, and we keep one third for ourselves. And why we do that? We want everyone to enjoy Eid al-Adha together as a family. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.